everyone. Well, welcome to the monthly forecast reading. I'd like to make a little introduction first for you to get to know what this is about, okay? So the intention for these readings are for them to be monthly. These are more of a general reading, okay? Focus with the intention to apply to as many as you as possible. Sort of global messages. Messages that affect the energy of our planet, that affect us at an individual level, and the consciousness, awareness, how it expands or how it contracts, depending, or the awareness that we constantly are receiving from higher sources into the awakening of this planet. So you are going to find that the messages from a spirit will be more at a general level. In fact, to make it more into the physical realm, I am going to be using my tarot card deck, okay? Normally I'm going to be using this one right here. It's called the Cosmic Tarot, okay? And my intention is to use this tarot deck in order to pull the messages that are for the most importance for a spirit. Since I am not tapping on anyone in specific, I want to do it this way, so the most information comes forth. In addition, I plan to tap all sources of light, okay? I will connect with the spirit guides. I will connect with the energies that may come to me or other sources of light that may come to me. Even if for some reason I receive information from the Akashic Records, I will be sharing that also, okay? But these readings are intended to be more at a general level, okay? They are not intended at a personal level and they won't work in that aspect, even though they will make a very strong influence in your life, especially if the energies are touching a living area that you are working on, okay? So, with that being said, let's go for the reading. Hey guys, how is it going? Well, we are already in 2 May. Wow, time, time sure flies this year. I, I am finding it to be a very tough year in some ways. Lots of progress, but lots of lessons, lots of forced learning, lots of being dragged here and there in order for this forced progress, you know. It, it has been, it has been insane, but as last month we have talked about, you know, I definitely could have felt that four of sorts and that, uh, six of sorts that we had in the last reading however i am wondering i am very curious about the the forecast you know uh, as you can see um, it's an interesting year maybe some of you already didn't see it posted on the first normally i try to get this done on the 29th or on the 30th but right now is the first and i am recording and i'm going to upload it today of course so you guys can have it right away but you know it's interesting if things are going to pick up again, if we had a small moment of relaxation and if we are going to start picking up the pace again. Let's see what the cards say. We are going to go pretty quick into them. In fact, you know, I'm going to start to shuffle them already. Uh, I mean, while at it, you know, it has came to me at a point, as you all know, the universe is moving forward. It's advancing. The whole universe is expanding at speeds that we cannot even imagine. What that means? It means the whole Milky Way, the whole solar system moving forward, advancing into a higher uh, space of vibration, you know, and we humanity need to advance. This is why we are being pushed forward so much. So it's very important that you get in touch with your inner selves as much as you guys can, okay? As much as you guys can and as much as you... As you feel, find introspection times, find times to connect with yourself, find any areas you need to upgrade, you need to enhance, you need to improve in your life, leave behind everything that is a block, and, and even if it's hard, even if it's a very big sacrifice having to step the comfort zone away from it, do it, because it's going to, to pay off, okay? We are going to, uh, to get started with the cards, since they have said to me to stop, uh, to stop shuffling, so let's see what we start with. Well... We are starting with a Princess of Pentacles, you know, and kind of happy to see this card uh, showing up as f at first, okay? Because then it feels to me that we indeed, okay, it's going to be to some. So initially, you know, 
at this month of May, during the month of May, there is going to be a progress that it's going to be related in finding, first of all, more appreciation with our lives, okay? More connected with ourselves, more connected with the surroundings, more connected with the world, okay? But in a more kind way or in a more gentle way, you know, it's like somehow the energies are going to be soothing down a little bit, you know, as they have been soothing down for the last couple of weeks. I am being told also that this is very ambiguous, okay, because while many of us have been moving forward into trying to get things done, into trying to get, you know, everything fixed, and I'm sure we all still have more to go forward and more to, to learn from, but if you have been having, you know, a tough movement forward, and you could have felt that decrease of intensity by the end of last month, you're going to see that that tranquility is going to still pertain, it's going to, it's going to still be there for you, okay? However, at the same time, once again, uh, this is kind of a break, okay? This is kind of like to give us some, some breathing time, to give us some time to... To, 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 yes, that, to just take a, a, a breath because it's like it's non stop, it's very intense, you know. And, but at the same time, being told that at a, at as a whole, humanity at a whole needs to be more like the princes of pentacles, okay, more kind, more connected to themselves, and more, and less connected to the, to the, to the materialism, you know. That's something that spirit is trying to show up in terms of a, a lesson that we are going to have to see in this in this in this month okay about having to move towards a, a more appreciation towards our physical material abundance okay whether it's money whether it's technology it doesn't really matter but in a way of learning to disconnect a little bit from it to make the progress to make the developments that you that you need that you that you require, maybe you need to, to upgrade your hard drive and you have been waiting for it. Well, now it's going to be a time. This month is going to push you to do that upgrade, okay? But at the same time, if you say, oh, I love my phone, it's my... Then, you know, you are going to receive life lessons. Maybe, you know, the device will slow down or it can be many ways. You know, the universe works in mysterious ways. But if you are feeling way too connected with you know, the physical material, whatever it is, even if it's a car or even if it's your TV or, or I don't know, a, a, a chair that you have in your home, okay? Then you are going to be taught to have to disconnect a little bit from that, to have to let go a little bit of the necessity or the desire of the material possession and, and sure benefit from it. It's not about getting rid of it. That's a wrong lesson. What Spirit is saying here is, yes, enjoy your phone, enjoy your car, enjoy your chair, whatever but don't make it so important in your life okay it's just a tool it's just a device it's like a fork when you are eating unless you're in a super fancy restaurant or something like that you know your daily fork it's going to be pretty much invisible to you it's going to be used for yes in your food well make all of your devices all of your physical positions even your money okay make it like that make it more insignificant make it more in a third background level not at a time to manifest at a time to visualize visualize abundance as much as you can coming to you being grateful for it before having it but you know for what you have don't don't feel so much connected to it okay yes as tools as a fork when you're eating it's necessary you have it you are grateful for it that's it okay that's the first important lesson you're going to have this year also and also those who haven't been moving forward, who haven't been cleansing, you know, or who haven't finished their cleansing, they are still going to face that, that, that acceleration, that requirement of progressing and healing and, and continuing, continuing to move forward, okay? Because the Prince of Pentacles is also saying that we all should be moving forward more to a more relaxed state and a more a graceful state okay let's see here what comes up about the second card wow this is a, actually a good one you know the magician and this one the camera has a hard time feeling it the magician has shown before okay and i want to share with you that the magician uh, brings us something 
pretty amazing, you know, for this month. And what I'm trying to, to perceive here is exactly what the message here is, because it can come in multiple ways. First of all, it's been recommended, and this is very general, it is for all of you, okay? Uh, Spirit is setting aside the whole topic of progress and out all of that. I am glad because it has been like since this crazy year started. So the magician, what is trying to tell us here, it's about expanding your intuitions. Everyone is going to feel an expansion in their intuition, even slightly bit, okay? Even if your third eye is shut down and you have a brick of a wall of bricks in front of you, well, you might poke a little hole and see through it. It's important for you to pay attention to your intuitions, okay? And try to listen to them. Try to listen to them and try to pay attention to them. Because I do sense that this is a requirement that we are going to have as a, as a whole, as a humanity, for all of us to have a decent level of intuition. And this doesn't mean everybody becoming psychic or anything crazy like that. This means, yes, your gut feeling, okay? We all have a gut feeling that's as common as having a nose, you know? What is important here is for you to start paying more attention to your gut feelings. Because as we advance, you know, as the whole planet, the whole universe advances, you know, you're going to be connected with a higher vibration. So you will be able to pick up better the subtle energies. And you're going to be able to connect better with your intuition and pay attention to it. Because intuition can become your best friend. It can help you a lot. This is one message that magician is telling, but another message, it's for you. Regarding the tools of before, you are going to have more wisdom in terms of which tools to use or which tools to buy, you know, and this comes again a little bit to the Princess of Pentacles, where I was stating that you should not um, connect very strongly to the material possessions, so don't get very obsessed if the latest phone has came out or the, this fancy chair is too expensive or whatever, okay? Yes, if it's something you desire, why not? But you may be told that uh, it might not be the time, you know, it, 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 it happens that way. It happens that way and you're going to find yourself wanting to maybe do an upgrade, but it will be an upgrade, yes, because you feel you wanted to, and then you're going to have to forcefully do a different type of upgrade that will cost you an equal amount of, of cash or energy, call it anyway, and preventing you from doing the other, you know, for you to learn that it's not that big of a deal, okay? So it's a good thing to uh, to know that you're going to have a set of tools, but you're going to have a greater wisdom in how to use them, how to choose the tools that you are going to add in your life, as I told you, is part of the necessity as per the Prince of Pentacles, and for you to also expand and keep growing your intuition, okay? So here, let's go ahead for the last one. And the last one, it's very nice. Six of Pentacles right here, guys. Okay, and as you can see, a very happy guy at the top of the cliff. You know, we get to a point that if you manage to achieve this this year, but to really, to really achieve it at a hard level, okay? Not just saying, oh yeah, I won't care that much. No, to have true progress, okay? Then you're going to find the real, the real benefit from the Six of Pentacles. You're going to see that you have broken through, that you have expanded, that you have moved forward. It's going to be like you really, really, really have achieved a lot. You're going to look back and you're going to say, wow, finally, finally things are coming to a more settling state, you know. You're going to, you're going to, to find out that for some of you who have been following a specific path or have been uh, challenging yourselves, okay, this is going to play through this month, okay but you have been seeking for a goal or you have been trying to improve your intuition you have been trying to improve your lucid dreaming or or your relationship with your partner you know you can go ahead and say i have improved i have moved forward we have broken through and take a look back okay at, at a month or two and say wow i truly look where i was look where i am now okay and that's what the six of pentacles is really trying to to state here Okay, and you're going to be very joyful because you're going to find that you have grown personally, spiritually, mentally in whatever areas of your life that have been affected. You're going to find yourself growth. And if you remember from prior forecasts, uh, it was all about that. So those of us who have been boom, 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 we really are going to continue to go down into like last month that the six of swords and then the fourth of swords would 
talk about getting calmer and getting more relaxed and you know i actually could resonate with that except for the last few few days you know what you know now i actually understand at a personal level what has been going on with me with a few things you know with this reading so it's it's an answer for me as well this is why i enjoy doing this so make sure that you are going to start to really you know noticing uh, your progress and if you have not go ahead and really find your introspection time and really look yourself back because you're going to see that you in what you have been fighting for you have moved forward a lot okay even if it was hell even if it was horribly hard better because if it has been like that it means that you have really really been progressing so that's really the message for this month very straightforward finally much more positive much more empowering and i am personally happy also obviously and i know some of you that already messaged messaged me are going to be happy also and well we are going to have a nice may it seems so well with that being said guys thank you very much big pleasure and until next time